Welcome to Art Hall. Today we have with us Steve Nude Battista. He's also taking part in the Spleen exhibition that will run till the end of August. Uh, Steve Nude was born in Malta and you study art in Malta but also in Sicily, no? Yes, first of all, thank you for this short interview. Thank you for coming. <laughs> yes, basically I started my early studies in Malta, in Valletta, and then I continued uh, private tuitions uh, in Melia with Maltese artist Twani Darmani. Okay. And then obviously I went to Tarja Gap, which was the, the only school for arts and crafts in Malta. Uh, I've worked with various artists as well. And then we switched on to Wemcast, where I had a lot of artists as well, mm -hmm. and designers locally, uh, George Muscat, Alfred Camilleri. So, a lot of <laughs> different uh, solutions, yes. And then in 2007, um, I had my scholarship in Sicily, in Shaka. That was because you won a competition. Yes, I won the scholarship. And that's where I started the concept of the bronze and the sea life. Yes, that's so. what I wanted to ask you, because I've seen that uh, your main interest is the sea life of the, the marine subject. Where does it come from, this? It comes from Shakka, uh, as I said before, in 2007. Shakka is a fishing village. I've worked with uh, a lot of artists there as well. And then we started developing the concept of taking uh, a first primary source, for example the fish or the prawns, and then you keep developing until you reach a stage where we call it abstract. <laughs> okay. So that's where we, where we started the concept. But apart from this, um, it's like you like a lot to go by the sea or fishing. Yes. You have this experience also? Yes, in fact, when I was very young, uh, my dad, he used to work on boats as well. Oh, okay. So I used to go with him uh, on different boats. I used to see a lot of fishermen carrying boxes of fish. And I think uh, the dots starting connecting from Okay, that yes, air. <laughs> it looks like. Uh, then I wanted to ask you, because uh, people are really impressed with your sculptors, and uh, the question that they always ask me is about the material. So I say mixed media, but they want to know more. Yes, basically I start from the sketch, so I start developing ideas by sketching, um, quick sketches, just the idea, and then I will start collecting materials. So I, I collect a lot of recycled materials, like pieces of wood, uh, reused plastic, uh, pipes, wires, cardboard. Hmm. I mean, materials that people throw away. Like they call found objects, no? Found objects, exactly. Then I will start building my ideas with these objects, um, usually I don't uh, finalize the sculpture with the found materials, so I experiment with finishing. Mm -hmm. So usually I use one color uh, just to have all the materials combined together and then you can understand better the shape or the outlines of the, the sculpture or whatever. And then another uh, common question is uh, if the sculptor can be outside in the garden, for example, in an open air space. Um, for that aim, one has to think about resistant materials. So, for example, I did some pieces which are suitable for the outside as well. Okay. But um, when working with these kind of materials, I mean, there is always a way of how you can make the sculpture more resistant to weather, etc. So sometimes it is an issue, sometimes it's not. It depends on the art piece as well. Okay, okay. And then I wanted to ask you also the paintings, uh, the technique of the paintings. Uh, again, the technique is mixed media. So there is like acrylics, chalk, um, water, water ac acrylics as well. Um, and again, those are abstract, which 
Um, if you go backwards, you'll see like an abstract composition. Hmm. But when you dig deep, you'll see that there is a lot of boxes of bronze over there. So it changed. That's yeah. the beauty of the abstract. <laughs>